So if you want to record a confirmation link, um, if you go into uh, marketing settings and then automation links, you get these um, links that you can uh, you, you can create here. So if I want to create a new one, so let's give this a um, conf link test. And then if I want to put some link blurb, so let's just put this in here. Link blurb goes in there and you'll see where that is. This is the link, so this is the link text or the anchor text. And this is for a text early emails, um, which we're not going to do. So if I save that, then you can, once you've saved it, you get the ability to change what the confirmation page looks like. So you can set up your confirmation page header there. So um, let's just put this black text by background. And let's just put this in here. page content in there so we can see what that looks like and also when somebody clicks this link I can r run any of the actions I can apply a tag or start a um, uh, legacy um, campaigns and follow-up sequences or do any of the things here like for example apply a note to say so I've noted that somebody's run a tag or run other action sets okay so if I now save that I've now got this one that's popped up on my screen, which is this one right here. And if you look at the far bottom left corner, you can see this is the opt-in 29. So it says JavaScript uh, scripted it opt-in 29. So that's the, the number of the, um, uh, of the link. So if I was to now go to a, uh, let me just exit this here. So if I was to come, uh, it doesn't matter which template you can use. You can use legacy templates. You can use campaign builder templates. Um, it's not a problem, any template. I'm just actually going to do this in the new builder. So in here, let's just say um, I'm going to pick, uh, for example, this one here. So I'm going to use this template here. And right here, what I'm going to do is just put a some text in here and what I'm going to do I wonder if it's off, oh, you can do it off here no it's not there but I know the syntax and you have to you have to get this syntax exactly right so it's it's tilde opt in capital I underscore 29 tilde okay so if I'm now going to um, uh, test of conf link and I send a test to myself so that'll just take a couple of seconds interesting enough when you look at the preview here it says opt-in 29 in the preview version uh, but if you act when we actually look at this uh, what we'll find is there's the email that's come in and you see here it says link blurb so that is above the uh, the text and then this is the link here and if I click this click this now let's just display images so you can see the the full glory of the email builder and there's link text so um, email address confirmed blah 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 and look forward to keeping in touch um, thank you for subscribing and you see where it says page content. So that was the bit that I put in there, the page content. And that's HTML, so you can make that anything you like. This bit, I can't change. So I can't edit this to the thank you page, um, but I can edit the um, the uh, the rest of it. So Simon, that was what you asked for. How do you change the text paragraph? Well, you could either put it in, um, you could either put it here in the link blurb or simply put it here in the email itself so whatever text paragraph you want you can you just type it in there and then you can send it as I say that works in uh, email templates you can um, uh, use it in campaign builder as well as uh, broadcasts wherever you want to use it that will work